marathon and basically we're inviting a bunch of volunteers in uh, every Tuesday over the last five weeks to help us with uh, the archiving of all the books that are available in the library and it's quite a substantial amount so that's why it's called an archivathon because it, we've had to do it over multiple uh, weeks because there are probably thousands of items in the library. So I think the most interesting discovery really was a note um, um, to the uh, original director of the WCA before it was formed um, to um, a man called William Davis um, and it's a thank you note and the book is gifted to him. So this is one of my personal favourite uh, little items, uh, not because of its history in relation to the temple but just because i think it's really really lovely this is a bbc handbook um produced in 1941 and it was actually um uh given out so that communities um uh and people across the british empire at the time um could understand how they could use the bbc um to be able to send and to share news this handbook is essentially a guide to the BBC uh, during wartime. Um, so it's got all of these little uh, things. It even has a chapter explaining how propaganda works and the purpose of it, which, which is fascinating. Uh, but then on the other hand, um, it's got things like music, how to, how to um, share and to hear the world's musics uh, through the BBC. And I got a, um, a Charter of the UN with, inside of it, a smaller version of the Charter of the UN. So, you know, you can choose your size. They're um, incredibly dry, as I, I have everything I've been looking at. The UN aren't very um, fancy in their wording. Get this point. The best thing which me personally learned here is like to stay focused and be really concentrated on your work. The more focused you are, the best results you can get in life. So here I trained my concentration at the best level. Uh, so I decided to join Archivathon because I have an interest in history. And I also really enjoy uh, organizing and filing materials. So combining those two in Archivathon is really exciting for me. And the building itself is really wonderful. This library is a great uh, area and it looks great. So it's a great place to work in. For a number of years, we've done lots of community projects that involve materials from in here. But this is the first time that we've actually been able to fully catalogue the contents of the library and archives um, so that hopefully others can uh, find the materials for themselves, do research projects and so on into the future. So quite excited as this is all coming together. Yeah.